Now I want to show you how to use the annotation tools when you're sharing your screen in Zoom. So say you have a text or an article, something that you want to share with the students and have them interact with. Um, once you share your screen and you have your article open, um, you can see here on the toolbar that a new tool has appeared, um, the annotate tool. So if you click on that, um, up will pop an annotate toolbar um, with a lot of different tools and features that you can use and do. Um, so right now under draw, it's sort of a freehand drawing tool. Um, you can also draw straight lines if you want to underline things. Um, you can draw a square or, or a circle around things, say if you want them to, um, you know, circle all the adjectives and um, put a square around all the adverbs. Um, you know, there are a lot of different options that you can do. If you look at these ones that are sort of a um, little transparent or kind of gray, um, you can use these to kind of highlight text. Um, and one of the cool things about this is that it's not just you who can annotate, but your students have access to these tools as well. So um, your student can um, be doing this, this at the same time that you are annotating. Um, or if you have a couple students, they can be doing it at the same time. Uh, you may just want to choose different colors for each person so you can see very clearly, um, you know, I did the yellow and the student did the red like that. Um, there's the spotlight feature. If you want to call students' attention very quickly to a certain part of the text, um, that's also very helpful. Um, you can also create text boxes if you want to have the students type in the, the main idea or a summary, or they can type an opinion, or there are a lot of different things that you could do um, adding text box text boxes. You want to be careful though because um, as long as that text box is selected you're not going to be able to do much else. So if you do want to scroll or rotate or um, move around in the, the window you'll want to um, go to the mouse to do that. Um, another note of caution, if you do decide to scroll down all of the drawings will scroll with you. Um, so before you do move down you may want to um, clear all of the drawings before you do. Um, if you really like what you've done though and you want to save a copy, there is an option to save. You can see here that the screen is saved and you can show it in the folder. Um, but you'll notice again because we didn't clear, uh, they're showing up here on the screen as well. But that screenshot is there and you can save it and look at it uh, anytime that you would like.